This is Bob Dickinson of Innovice, and we're going to look at the orifice controls inside of SWIM 5 right now. So here we have our orifice here, and there's two ways of doing the control. We have a time to open and close. So every time the, the gate closes or opens, it takes an hour to go back to uh, its full condition or to its normal condition. Also, we have controls for here. Or says that the, if the flow in this in the link downstream, which is this link here, is greater than 25 CFS, turn the orifice off. If it's less than that, then set the orifice setting to 0.5. So how do we see well, the effect of this? We, we first of all we run the model. Now we can look at the flow in the orifice, and you can see that it, the orifice is on and then is off when the um, flow in the downstream link is greater than 25 CFS. You can also see the um, setting of the orifice by clicking on edit and then looking at capacity which is also the setting. So there we have a setting of 1. It changes until it gets down to a setting of 0. So that's our, that's our, that's our time step there. Then it turns on again, or turns off rather, then it turns on again and then it goes to uh, 0 0.5. So that's how the, uh, the combination of the open and closed timing and the orifice timing works inside of SWIM 5. We can also make a scatter plot of the uh, flow in the orifice and the flow, flow in the downstream link, which is um, control link. So we use a scatter plot, and here we have a, uh, a graph of the, uh, the link flow in control link and then the orifice flow in control orifice. So you can see that when the orifice, when the, when the flow in the control link, the uh, orifice turns off basically or, or change over time. So there's a lot of flexibility in SWIM 5 for controlling orifices. Okay, thank you for listening and um, we're going to move on to another video now.